This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. Two chances to help fight cancer this weekend. We'll tell you about the Hazelton chapter of the American Cancer Society's Telethon and the Big Dance Marathon at Penn State University next. Big weekend and big newscast, so I won't waste any of your time, but I do want to say thank you for watching. I'm Ken Kerr with today's information from SSPTV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. For more than four decades, the greater Hazelton area has come together to raise money to find a cure for cancer. This Saturday, that effort continues with the 42nd Annual American Cancer Society Telethon, sponsored by the Greater Hazelton Unit of the American Cancer Society. Organizers gathered this week at premier catering and events at the Genetti Ballroom on Route 309 in Hazel Township, the site of Saturday's 12-hour event. Clemmie Yamona and Jane Doherty are co-chairs for the telethon. Yamona has been with the telethon since it began. 42 years ago, we were so fortunate to have Joe and Irene Gans and Leon and Henry Kreisel. They were, was their, it was their initiative to determine to get a find a cure for cancer. And sure enough, 42 years, we're still in the process, and it's all because of the wonderful volunteers of the greater Hazleton area. And when we started our telethon 42 years ago, we had no survivors. Now we're proud to say, answering our phones every hour of the telethon will be two survivors, and they'll tell their stories, their caregivers will tell their stories about their journey. We've made a lot of progress in 42 years, but we are determined to find a cure. 570-459-1212. Call us, and, and if you're at your home and you would like to come and spend some time with us, there's many activities up here, and the weather's predicted very fair for Saturday, so come out and spend the day. And if you're at home, don't hesitate to pick up that phone and call in your pledge. We have local entertainment all day. It starts off with the Star Spangled Banner. We have the Hazelton Area High School Band coming. Local entertainment all day for the 12-hour period. We also have a bake sale, lots of tricky trays, 50-50s. Uh, bingo starts at 1 o'clock. The door is open at 12. So there's something going on all day here at Genetti's. The telethon is this Saturday from 11 a.m. until 11 p.m. at the Genetti Ballrooms. You can also stop by in person or watch live on Service Electric Cable Channel 7. Meanwhile, students at Penn State University will be on their feet all weekend, also raising money for cancer research, and three of the dancers are from the Penn State Hazleton campus. We talked with them about why they wanted to be part of the largest student-run philanthropy in the world. We're raising money throughout the year for children and family impacted by childhood cancer, and we're also spreading awareness throughout THON um, throughout our community. And when you're doing this for the Penn State Hazleton campus, all the money gets totaled up when they're out there at Thon at University Park. But there's kind of a contest going on, so you guys want to raise a lot of money. This year, our goal is $20,000. Last year, we were pretty close to $17,000, so we're hoping we can just reach that up a few more thousand dollars. Now, Megan, you're a senior at the local campus. How excited are you to be one of the three dancers? I'm really excited. This is my fourth year going to Thon, and I'm also really excited because I get to do it with my sister and one of our best friends, Christine, so we're just going to have a really great time. Well, I first off, I really wanted to dance specifically this year, my junior year, instead of my senior year because it's my sister's last year, and I really wanted to just be able to do it with her. Um, when I was 11 years old, I had a friend from school who was 12, so he was in Megan's grade, and he was diagnosed with uh, leukemia, and he eventually passed away um, just a couple weeks before his birthday. He wasn't actually like connected with Thon, but it coming to Penn State really pushed us, that pushed us to join the organization and really become involved because we miss him and we loved him and it's really important for us to be able to celebrate him and his life and the time we spent with him throughout Thon Weekend. You can still help the Hazleton campus. For more information and a link to donate, visit the Penn State Hazleton Thon Facebook page. We also have a link on our Facebook page as well. 
Forgot my winter hat today, so all I've had to keep me warm are thoughts about Frankie soup. And guess what? It's time to give away a bowl of Frankie soup. Actually, more than that, one lucky viewer will win two quarts of delicious homemade chicken pastine soup from Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant in downtown Hazleton. Call us at 570-455-7267, extension 108. We need your full name and phone number, and then we'll pick one winner at random. You can only win once every 30 days on SSP TV. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Really wish I had my winter hat when I was shooting this weather shot. It's getting cold out there. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service. Tonight, partly cloudy skies and a low of only 13 degrees. And then on Friday, it is sunny and we get a high of 29 degrees. At night, it's clear with a low of 22 degrees. Nice weekend. Saturday, sunny with a high of 40. We go down to 25 degrees at night with clear skies. Sunny once again for our Sunday with highs in the mid 40s. Mostly clear at night, low of 29. Then Monday, a 50% chance of rain after 1 p.m. Partly sunny with a high of 46 degrees. Monday night, a 60% chance of rain mainly before 1 a.m. Mostly cloudy, low of 38 degrees. It was an exciting night of junior high basketball at the Huey McGeehan Gymnasium. And yes, I'm going to tell you all about it on the SSP TV Standard Speaker Scoreboard. The Valley Elementary Middle School won their semifinal over drums. Valley heads to the title game at 17-0 this year. They looked like the Lady Cougars at the Hazleton Area High School using a press on Freeland that helped cause over 30 turnovers. Alyssa Hebel had 12 points, 14 rebounds, and 8 steals in the game. Autumn Umbriak led Freeland with 7 points. Drums beat a team of students from Holy Family Academy and MMI in overtime. Olivia Williams had the game-winning point from the free throw line. Her teammate Melina Gregory secured the W by grabbing the rebound on her second shot from the foul line. Williams and her teammate Lindsay Buglio had 11 points for drums. Drums will play Valley for the championship at the Hazleton Area High School on Monday at 6 p.m. Every week we produce in-depth weekly features for you where we spend more time really diving into a story. This week in sports we learn what helped a Marion basketball player work through an injury and then score 1,000 points for her team and help get them into the district playoffs. And next we respond to a call with local emergency medical technicians in our latest Day in the Life segment. And now it's time for tonight's social news. Come on out this Saturday to the 42nd Annual American Cancer Society Telethon from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. at Premier Catering at Genetti Ballrooms in Hazel Township. To donate or for more information, call 570-459-1212. And there's a basket raffle happening this Friday and Saturday at St. John the Baptist Orthodox Church in Nesquehoning. The kitchen will be open for this event. And next Friday, the Hope Center in Luzerne is hosting a night of hope, reflection, and worship with a guest speaker from 7 p.m. until 8.30 p.m. All are welcome. For more information, call 570-814-4476 or visit their website, hopecenternepa.org. And that's tonight's Talk of the Town. SSP TV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of the following. Janet A. Kowalik of Hazleton, Funeral is Saturday at 9.30 a.m. at the Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home in Hazleton. Massive Christian Burial is Saturday at 10 a.m. at St. Joseph Church in Hazleton. Friends and family may call on Friday from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Funeral Home. And Jess A. Korch of Nescapec. Celebration of Life is Saturday at 11 a.m. at Nescapec Township Fire Hall. The doors open at 10.30 a.m. Tonight's social news is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. For information, call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.